Good morning, the YouTubes. We are gonna make um, some espresso here and, uh, you know, get a little bit fired up for a bit of a morning lift. I like to do that a few days a week before I start my day. So we're gonna have a little shot of espresso. We're gonna enjoy it. We are gonna go downstairs and uh, we're, gonna get, uh, we're gonna get our pump on. No pre-workout today. Just a little shot of espresso. Let's go. Welcome to my basement. It's very bare bones, but I don't care. Why? Because I have my trusty rack here. If you guys don't know, this is actually my company. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark. Uh, it's called Stealth, Stealth Fit Co. Started that about a year and a half ago, where we, uh, we manufacture commercial grade home equipment as well as commercial grade gym equipment. So like these are our trusty bars here. Um, maybe I'm biased, but I love our bars because you can, their capacity is a thousand pounds. I'm not lifting that, but thousand pounds. We put extra bearings in the end so they spin well. So if you are doing more advanced lifts, like a snatch, something like that, there's no friction, so you're not gonna get an injury. So if you don't know that, if you are doing like those kind of functional lifts, you want a nice smooth bar. So, fun fact. Another thing we're trying out right now is, is different kind of pulley systems on our rack. So we're, this is a folding rack. I'm trying to zoom out here, but this actually folds into the wall. So if you're someone that wants to save some space when they're done the workout, you can actually just pull the pins out and fold it into the wall. It comes with a chin up bar too, so if you're a chin up kind of person, that comes on and off. Uh, we wanted some that's really versatile for everybody, so. Um, and then my little wall accessories here. I'm super bad at filming. Um, but yeah, our plate trees to keep the plate off the floor so you don't trip on them. So this, everything we have is wall mounted and the whole point is just to keep your space nice and organized and clean. Um, even here, like bands are my nemesis. So we have a little wall mounted, st everything's steel um, to hold all your bands and stuff so they're not all over the place. But one day I'll bring you to where our spot is. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get a lift in. Well, I just spent the last 15 minutes. Like, look at my, that's ice. My entire car was like a, just a block of ice. That was that was a good workout. Anyways, if you if you choose to live in Canada, um, especially in Ontario, uh, or if you're new here, get used to this. And it's just begun because it's only January. Do you guys want to see how ridiculous winter is? Are you gonna want that? The ice was so heavy on my front bumper, literally knocked a sensor out. Look at this. The ice. I don't know if it was melting or what, but there's my sensor and the bumper. Acura. I'm shading on, on Bridgehead right now, I'm sorry, uh, with Starbucks. So, always friendly people at the Starbucks. Uh, then we're gonna head back downtown to meet one of my trainers and then we're gonna get my, my car fixed <laughs> at Camco, so it's gonna be a day. Will we get to the farm? I'm not sure. Let's hope Camco fix the sensor because there's nothing more annoying than driving with a constant beep or just the intermittent beep but the long and all I hear right now is beep this is this is Kristen <laughs> hey guys she's one of the trainers you should hire her come train <laughs> this is the first time on the vlog you'll see her and then we got Marcus again hey oh my god <laughs> Oh, did you film that? That's <laughs> how do you feel about the uh, elevator lighting, Marcus? Oh, Tell us how you really feel. It makes the triceps pop. Yeah. You can hit a little oh, when you're in it. Look it's at those. Nice. Look at those bad yeah, boys. We're going triceps, dude. What's up? Look at those. Oh, they're popping. This is... <laughs> that's uh, what I randomly deal with is just beeping because the sensor has dropped kind of behind the... Uh, bumper and it thinks something is in front of me so it just randomly goes off super exciting super exciting like why <laughs> uh Acura I hope you can help me it's a remix all right I'm just
just leaving Camco. Turns out for that very little sensor, I need to come back tomorrow because they have to remove the entire bumper just for that little sensor technology. So yeah, we'll be back here tomorrow. Uh, hang out with some of the people here at Camco. I've been a client here and been an Acura owner for 17 years and they've always been good to me here at Camco. Um, yeah, so any news, I'm driving now on the road, so we'll uh, catch you guys later. Guys, we made it. We made it to the farm. Check this out. I'm going to show you some uh, good old animals. Look at these guys right here. These are, I think it's bison, little bisons. Look at these guys. Very cute and delicious. Kidding, they're cute. All back here. You can come back and uh, view a lot of the animals back here. And then they have a little storefront, which we're gonna go to. This is where they have, um, uh, different birds, like, well, I don't even know what you call them. It's like pheasant or whatever. Not sure. And then down there they have more uh, houses for like little deer, like baby deer. And this is the storefront. So one of the other reasons why I like coming here is because they have special ground beef. Um, has organ meats in it. And if you guys have followed any of my biohacking stuff, you know that I'm big into uh, carnivore which has been my lifestyle for the last couple of years. Um, so they have a lot of wild game here. They've got a lot of different beef and pork too. Uh, but what's really cool to know is that a lot of the animals, sorry for you vegans or plant-based people, but um, <laughs> animals that are uh, in these are actually from the farm. So it's nice and fresh and the prices are really, really good. Actually, sometimes better than the grocery store. Who knows what you're getting at the grocery store. I don't know how this is going to get me, but they have a lot of other stuff in their fridge. I get all my pepperettes back here too. Their pepperettes are so good. Um, a lot of cured meats. Cured meats over there. Where is it? Like a kangaroo. Spicy, not spicy. So like, I like these ones. Beef and pork. There's my honey garlic ones. Kangaroo. I also got uh, chicken pot pie. Love that stuff. Um, yeah, they make a bunch of stuff. If you guys are in the Ottawa area, you can actually order online and they'll deliver right to you. Uh-oh. You too. <laughs> See ya. Sorry, that was one of the employees saying, she came outside and yelled at me to say goodbye. I'm here every week. So I get to know a lot of the staff. Um, I would show you more of the animals out back, but as you can see, it's getting dark here. So we're gonna head out. It's start, it's raining um, and we're at minus two, which means the roads have a good possibility of getting slick as the temperatures get colder. Uh, so I'm gonna head back home and uh, get some work done again at home. Um, yeah, probably make a couple more stops though on the way home. I have to pick up some other stuff, but Anyways, this is a quick look at Bearbrook Farms. Again, if you're in the auto area, get some quality meat, even some wild game at really good prices. Uh, the bad thing is, is once you start eating the meat from here, why is it so sketch right now? The resolution is garbage. I don't know what's happening with the camera, but whatever. Uh, once you start eating meat here, you're never gonna wanna eat meat from a grocery store ever again. All right, we are back home, home office. Uh, gonna tackle some other work um, for stealth and some club stuff. Had a little snack, fed the dogs, took them out for a walk. One of the things I wanted to point out in this uh, daily vlog, after talking with my trainers and staff, for those of you that are looking to actually get in shape, actually get a, a head start for once on your health, invest in a trainer and i'm not just saying that because i own gyms i'm saying that because we see it 
too often this time of year where people are all excited to come to the gym, they get a membership, and then we don't see them after two weeks. If you're someone who's new or someone that needs to be held accountable, please invest in a personal trainer. And it doesn't need to be for a year. It could be for like a six week span that you're there twice a week with them, you're learning, maybe you have poor mobility and they're helping you better your mobility to be able to do more with your physical fitness. And let's also remember your physical fitness will help improve your mental health. So if you are looking and you're in a gym and you need help, please ask the staff what your options are for some guided training. Now, for me, my clubs, we offer obviously one hour personal training sessions, and we also offer coaching, which is a bit more inexpensive. But both give you the guided attention that you need from a qualified trainer. And shameless plug, if you don't need a trainer and you want to just better your lifestyle, mind, body, soul, check out my four-week online pivot program, ashleymatthew.com. In the description is the link. You can click there, check it out. And right now I have 20% off for the pay in full option. So take advantage of it while you can. Um, it's a limited time. So check it out enroll and you'll also be put into a private Facebook group. All right, that's it for today. I'm going to focus on my work. World Juniors are on. Canada's in the finals, so I'll have that on the side as I work. But thank you for tuning in and catch me on my next daily vlog for the entire 2023. Let's see what happens.